The process to elect someone new for the 12th Congressional District will start next week. That's because Congressman Tom Marino announced today he is stepping down, heading into the private sector. And that district covers a large part of northern and central Pennsylvania. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live outside of Marino's office in Williamsport. And Cody, what are his constituents saying after the surprise announcement? Nick, good evening. They believe he represented this area well, despite party differences. Marino was elected back in November for his fifth term in U.S. Congress, adding to his public service. Tom Marino started serving in public office back in 1992 as the Lycoming County District Attorney. Ten years later, George W. Bush then appointed Marino as the U.S. Attorney in the United States District Court for the Middle District of Pennsylvania. In 2010, Marino ran for U.S. Congress. Congressman Marino, where is he? Marino supported then-candidate Donald Trump's run for the White House. After winning the election, President Trump considered Marino for the drug czar back in 2017. Marino withdrew his name from that consideration after a 60 Minutes report suggested he created laws that made it tougher for the DEA to stop the opioid crisis. With the ups and downs in his political career, Thursday he announced he will be resigning after he was just re-elected in November. The news was a surprise to many people he represented. Anytime anyone in that office resigns, it's, it's, it's obviously like a, a disappointment because he won the election, you know what I mean, and, and the people were accurately represented. In a statement to Eyewitness News, Marino says he will be joining a private sector where he says he can use both his legal and business experience to create jobs. It's sad to see him go. I hope I wish him the best of luck in the, in the private sector. When you work that long in the public and you've made that much of a great name for yourself, it's definitely someone that's going to be missed, I think, in this area. Governor Wolf will have 60 days from Marino's resignation date to hold a special election to fill his seat in Washington, D.C. My excitement is, is, is just for whoever is um, uh, like going to be elected, especially in this special election, is that they would just bring a resurgence to this area and to this region, and that would be really exciting. I spoke to multiple staff members of Tom Marino. They tell me he is unavailable for comment and an interview. Now, next Wednesday will be his last day as he will step down on January 23rd. In Williamsport, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News. Cody, thank you. And where Marino is going to work in the private sector is still unknown.